So you have set up some simple pages of the application and you are ready to start implementing some user database in your product. And here is a quick overview where we walk through user database setup on Softer together. Let's start from the main workspace of Softer Studio and hit the user tab on the left hand side navigation bar. Here you will see a prompt to connect to your Airtable database. So let's head over to Airtable and find the API key to get it hooked up. Head to Airtable, sign up or log in to your account if you already have an account. On the top right corner, click on the user profile icon and then hit account. This will open your user account tab. And here under the API section, you will be able to locate your API key. If it is yet to be generated, simply just hit the generate button and you, you'll be ready to go. Note that this API key should never be shared publicly. And if you believe you have accidentally exposed this key to the public, simply come back here and regenerate a new key. However, this would mean that you will need to use this new key to reintegrate everything, for example, with the software or any other tools that you have paired up with this Airtable Air account. Okay. Now we have the API key. We can come back to Software Studio and plug this API key in to connect them. Once it is successful, you will be able to see a prompt to select the base and the table. Let's come back to Airtable and get it set up. Under your desired workspace, hit the add base button. This will create a new database on Airtable and let's rename it new database. Let's first rename this table that Airtable give it to you by default when you create a new base. Let's rename this table one to users. In this user table, let's keep the first field unchanged as name and delete the next three default fields um, so we can start afresh. Now we want to add an email field, which is the most important one to even make your user database work. So you have to create these and we will name it email. Now let's create a URL typed field and name it magic link. This one is optional, but I suggest you follow everything. So down the line, if you want to use this field, it's ready to go. Following that, let's create an attachment field for profile picture. Now we have everything that's needed. And let's head back to Software Studio and select the new database, which is the new database that we just created. Um, if it doesn't show up like here right now, that means you need to refresh Software Studio and then come back to it. And you should be able to find the new database that we just created. And then select this users table that we just renamed. And then we will hook up email with our email field, name with our name one, magic link with our magic link field, and then avatar with our profile pic field. Now let's save it. And our user data table has been connected and is ready to go. You can create one new user at a time or you can import many users by loading in your existing user database file. Note that you can add new users from here and either with a temporary password that software generates for you, you can then choose to send an email invite to this new user where the email will include the temporary password and you log in to your application. Or alternatively, you can generate unique magic links to your users and they can use their own unique magic link from the email invite to log on to your application without even the need to type in the password. Magic link is also available to be generated even if you started um, adding a new user with the temporary password. A very important thing to note is that users created will always be synced to your Airtable database but you cannot do the reverse. So you cannot create a new user in Airtable um, and then expect software to pick it up on the software side. Also, if you delete users added from Software Studio from your Airtable database, it will also not be synced up with Software Studio. If I delete a user from the software side, it will not be synced up with Airtable. This means that you cannot make edit to your user information from Airtable once they are created from either side, from either software or Airtable. However, changes can be made by users themselves, which will be covered in a separate video where I go through 
user sign up, login, reset password, and user profile management. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel for more or let me know down below in the comment what kind of tutorial you want me to create next. Um, please like this video and share this with your fellow no coders. Also, share your progress with me at Nomo Codes on Twitter. Um, I'm always very excited to see what people make based on the tutorial content I created. Um, I, I would always love to see that. And until next time, ciao.